Hello, welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends, Jessica here. So today, as you can see, I have my table covered with my towel. I've got all my nail supplies out, so we are going to be doing nails today. I'm using this Mama Makes Her Own Dips Sweets Lead to Sin. So this is one that she came out with quite a while ago, but it's this really pretty glitter. It looks kind of almost on the brown side, but it is a very nice deep kind of cranberry-ish red color. I'm also going to be using this little dipping tray because I want to do like a French tip style manicure. So I am shaking it up a little bit so that those glitters are all nice and dispersed throughout the whole powder. I do already have peel base and a layer of base coat on my nails currently so that way the base coat the base coat on top of the peel base will allow your next base coat and dip powder layer to dry a little bit slower peel base tends to make the base coat dry really fast so that's a good tip in order to um, curb that from happening, especially with this style. Since I'm not covering the whole entire nail, I want to make sure I get nice coverage on the first dip going forward. I'm also going to be using my clear powder. This is from Revel Nail. And I'm just going to show you, I poured a little bit of that powder into that dipping tray. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the first nail as well. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on every single nail. So it's going to be a full French tip style nanny. But I just wanted to show you how I'm going to use that tray to kind of get a nice smile line on my nails using the dip powder because otherwise how are you going to do it? <laughs> so I kind of will just slide my finger right into the powder and you can kind of see that it, all, it creates that curve all on its own so I'm just kind of going far enough up the nail to kind of just a tad bit past where my fingertip would be to get that nice French tip type design. I do clear over that as well to absorb the rest of the base coat that's on the top so that no other glitters or anything like that will land on the sticky base coat and look at that smile line it came out perfect. I'm going to do two layers on every single nail. I'm going to show one more nail and then I'll do the rest of my hand off camera. I'm also using the brush there to get rid of any excess powder that will help keep your clear from looking grainy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second layer. So I'm sorry, I'm not doing another nail just yet, but I'm going to do another layer on this same nail. I'm going to do the same exact thing, just carefully push my finger into the powder. And I kind of want to make sure that I'm not going too, I'm not going over the initial smile line that I created, but I want to make sure that I'm getting all the way up to the line that I created. So it does not look like it's layered. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we will move on. And then sometimes if the base coat looks like it's kind of seeping through the dip powder at all, I'll just dip it back into the, clap, the clear or whatever powder it is that I'm using to kind of soak up that base coat. And also, I apologize if I sound a little bit off. I'm kind of getting over a little bit of a cold and it's kind of all in my sinuses right now. So I'm just trying to work through that. <laughs> but I think the smile line came out really, really good. I think it's a little bit of a labor of love to kind of do the same exact thing on every single nail. So I think sometimes if I rush through it a little bit too fast, uh, it may not look exactly the same on every single nail, but I try my best to make sure that it does. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll do a second layer on this nail, and then when I come back on camera, all of my nails will be finished.
<laughs> all right so i lied i showed all of my nails <laughs> Um, and but I think the reason here because I wanted to show my thumb as well you'll notice that I didn't just try to um, leave the dish the little dipping tray on my table I did pick that up so that I could put my thumb in at a good angle to keep that or make sure I get a good smile line versus trying to manipulate or move my thumb in an unnatural way I guess <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure that I had that nice smile line so picking up the tray makes that a little bit easier for the thumb but still pretty much did it the same the same way now once I am done with these layers I am going to cap everything with clear so that way when I go into file shape and buff which I'm going to do off camera I'll have a kind of a protective layer and I won't be removing any of that color that I've applied especially since I only did the two layers I don't want to remove any of it and then I'll go in with my activator make sure everything gets nice and hardened and then We'll go in with top coat. All right, so I'm finished with the clear cap, and anytime after I do clear, I do like to use my scrubby brush to make sure I'm getting as much of that excess powder off to eliminate any kind of graininess or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the activator. After activator, I usually let that sit for at least three to five minutes, make sure they're sufficiently hardened so that I can go in with filing and nothing kind of crumbles off or anything like that. And I like to usually do two layers, at least, of the activator. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. Here they are, all nice and filed, filed, shaped, and buffed. I'll go in with my alcohol and a cotton swab to get rid of any additional filing dust or residue or anything like that off of my nails because I don't want to contaminate my liquids. Okay, and after filing, we can go in with another layer of activator. So this is not to harden the nails. This time, this is going to help the top coat get nice and shiny. So you just need the one layer. I try to carefully apply that so it doesn't really get on my skin or anything, but I will go back in with a little bit more uh, alcohol and the cotton round just to make sure there's not any on my skin because it's very easy to get that into the top coat and then you and then ruin the top coat liquid so in order to keep them long lasting you want to do as much as you can to eliminate any contamination All right, and another way to help ensure you don't contaminate your top coat liquid, I always get a nice clean paper towel to use when I am doing top coat and in between every single layer. So the first layer, we're going to do two to three swipes across each nail from cuticle to free edge, and I wipe off that brush before I go back in to the bottle 
to move on to the next layer. That's going to make sure if there is any activator residue on that brush that you're wiping it off before you put it back into the liquid so that your liquid does not get goopy or unusable. Or the brush could also harden if it uh, if the activator remains on the brush as well. So if you're noticing that that's a problem, that could be why. On the second layer, we're going to go ahead and be a little bit more thorough. I'll do more swipes. I get my free edge. Uh, make sure, making sure that the peel base doesn't uh, activate and make the nails pop off too soon or the color pop off too soon. <laughs> And I still do the same thing, even though sometimes on the second layer, it's not as likely to get any activator on your brush, but I still like to wipe off in between. It's just kind of habit by now. So I like to try to keep my liquids as long as possible. So the other things you could do as well is to just clean with a little bit of acetone and a cotton round around the neck of the bottle so that way they don't get sealed shut as well and just kind of being very careful about putting the brush back in that you're not running that along the neck of the bottle and things like that but I'm going to let that dry for about five minutes we are back and I'm going to go ahead and finish up with my cuticle oil I did use my um a diff I, I'm not using my candy skincare this time, but uh, it's still a good cuticle oil. So that's um, the brand there. And just like to rub that oil in around my cuticles so that they look nice and nourished. After all of the acetone and alcohol and things like that. But I think that this came out really cute. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. Uh, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.